I'm going to leave this part of the video there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anyways, the second point of this is, guys, I apologize for the background noises in this video, guys. My neighbors are laughing and I cannot tell them to shut up. So yeah, um... Hi there, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is the very first time I've seen my face. My name is Moyo. I am a social media manager, a student and a content creator based in Nigeria. I hope that you enjoyed this video enough to subscribe by the end of the day. Also, make sure to catch up on all my videos that you have missed. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. Please subscribe and you know, let's go on this YouTube journey together. So today, I don't know if this video is a rant or a or a or an advice or an unpopular opinion. I don't know what this video is, but it's just me talking about what nobody told me about being a YouTuber. So I've been a content creator on Instagram for close to a year now. I've also started this YouTube channel for nine months now, but I stopped for a very long period of time and I just came back and I've been consistent for the past one month. So this video is going to be what no one told me about being a YouTuber and a content creator um, all joined together. So so if you're interested in watching what no one told me about being a YouTuber, keep watching. The first thing about being a content creator that nobody told me is that it is so much work. <laughs> it might look like it's easy to people who are not content creators because they feel like all you do is just sit down in front of a camera and start talking. But guys, there is so much, there is so, 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 so much that goes behind the scenes. So much planning, so much research work, so much, you know, deleting and re-uploading that goes behind, like, creating content. Even, like, the tiniest bit of content that you guys see on Instagram. So much editing, so much work goes into creating content. And <laughs> at first, when I first started, it was, it looked like, oh, this is something I'm going to be good at. But guys, it is so, so much work, especially being on YouTube. Guys, it is not easy. Like, there's research to do. There's sitting in front of the camera to film. There's the editing. The editing, which is like the main work. The editing and the research before filming is like... It's like the, the main work. So what you guys see, the one minute video, the 10 minutes video that you guys see and enjoy. There's so much, so much, so much that goes behind the scene. And that is just what I'm going to be talking about. Because yeah, my eyes have seen a lot in these few months of being a content creator and a YouTuber. So much has passed under the so much water has passed under the bridge. So much work has happened so much like doubt and you know so much has just happened and i just feel like i should just talk about it in this video so yeah the first thing about being a content creator that nobody told me is that it is so much work <laughs> so much research so much planning so much so much work goes behind content creation and that is like one thing that no one told me about another thing that no one told me is how hard it is like for things to go your way so for example now i've planned to film this video there's light right now never can take light anytime never can just decide that this is the time that i want to take light and there's nothing you can do you just have to wait till maybe you get light again to start filming so that is also another factor. Nepa, also, if you live with African friends, you know that your time and your the time that you have planned for yourself will not always come true because like they might have different plans. So for example, now if I'm planning to film by this time, they might decide that this is the time that they want to send me on errands and <laughs> there's nothing I can do. I have to go. For example, now as I'm filming this video now. Trailer has passed two times and I've had to pause and wait for the trailer to pass so that I can continue my video. Right now, another thing that will not go your way is now school I've gone on holiday. So my sisters are at home, my neighbor's children are at home. And you see this my neighbor's children. 
they are always crying and it's not one person if one person is crying all of them will be crying in unison like everybody will not yesterday was yesterday was really crazy because all of them were crying at the same time like they're just like or when they are playing so oh my sister there was i, I think in the video that the in the blue pass video that i uploaded there was a part where my sisters were singing like they just chose that day to sing so <laughs> things will not always go according to plan so the second thing that no one told me about being a content creator in nigeria is that is how hard it is to set the right angles for your camera guys i've been struggling to find the right angles with this camera so here is what i would say if you are just starting out start with your phone first and this is just for you to like get a hang a hang of like what you are doing for you to be sure that you know this is really what you want to do because it would really be frustrating for you to get all the equipment get a camera get lights and then after a while you now realize that this is not what you want to do so i would advise that you start out with your phone and then after a while when you already get the hang of it you now get a camera but anyways it is so hard like i've been struggling to find the right angles for my camera like especially when i'm vlogging you know a sit down video all you have to do is put your camera on the tripod but with vlogs sometimes i'm like okay should i put it like this or should i do like this or should i do like this how can i set the right camera the right camera angles i've been struggling i will be like how can i find like the right angles for my camera because i've really really been struggling with finding the right angles for my vlogs and i think it's because i've not gotten a handheld tripod yet i think if i get a handheld tripod it would be better and this brings me to my next point which is you have to invite things like <laughs> there's this popular saying that you have to use money to look for money so with content creation you have to use money to, to find money because at the end of the day you will not start making money immediately but you have to buy things so here's the thing i bought a tripod i bought a ring light i bought a microphone i bought and i still have so many other things to buy like right now i need to get um a handheld tripod for my camera i still need to get a jack i need to get another microphone because the other microphone that i got was not working i need to get another light because obviously this light is not really really this ring light is not really really doing the work so i need to get another light also there are still there are so many other things also guys data the amount of data that i've spent on just like uploading youtube videos making videos for instagram you know researching for content like the data is not even cheap i thought the amount of data that, I, that i've spent to buy things like the amount of data that i've spent in like uploading it you see the video that i uploaded on sunday the channel listens vlog in the middle of uploading that video the video stopped and restarted twice because I was uploading it with my laptop and the network was really slow. So the video stopped and we and I re-uploaded. I tried to like the video stopped twice and I had to re-upload it twice. So which means that the data that that spent like the video had already got into like 50%. The first one got to like 47% before it stopped. So which means that all the data that I've already I've already spent in uploading that one did not go. So in the middle of uploading it the third time. <laughs> my data finished and i had to borrow data to re-upload the video so right now i've not been online for a few days and today and this video that i'm filming right now is supposed to go up tomorrow so i don't know the miracle that will happen when you guys see the i don't know the miracle that will happen for you guys to see this video tomorrow which is wednesday i don't know i'll give you guys another example of you have to use plenty money so i downloaded some editing apps on my laptop because obviously i'm using a camera so i should be uploading videos on my laptop so i tried i i downloaded some editing apps i downloaded power director i downloaded filmora i downloaded um 
video pad editor i downloaded movavi editor and i initially wanted to use filmora to edit but for some reason the filmora that i downloaded has been lagging like once i once i put the video once i import the video to filmora it will just start lagging i don't know i don't know whether it's my laptop or anything so and then i now tried using power director so i've already edited the video everything was looking nice i edited it the video was looking promising and amazing and only for me to export this video they now told me that i have to pay for the editing app. but when i searched on my google chrome they told me that it was a free editing app uh, so, which means that i also have to pay to be able to use an editing app monthly on my laptop also when i was like researching um songs because obviously like if you're doing vlogs you have to use like nice songs for your videos so i looked for the songs that my face usually use because obviously you use non-copyrighted songs so i was like oh since my faves have used this song in their videos it means that this is a non-copyrighted song and i will not get copyrighted so i looked for these songs and then i used them in one of my vlogs only for me to put, upload this video and like only for me to upload this video and i get a copyright strike First of all, I was confused. I was like, ah, but this person used this song in their video. Why didn't they get a copyright strike? It was later that I now realized that they were using epidemic sound to epidemic sound. And to be able to use epidemic sound per month, you have to pay a certain amount of money to be able to use epidemic sound every month. For somebody who is not making money from content creation, that is a lot of money to spend because first of all you have to pay to, to be able to use no copyrighted song you have to pay to upload you have to pay for editing app you have to pay for gadgets so that you know your videos will not just look bland guys it has just been a whole lot you have to pay for data is a lot honestly it's a lot and it's a whole lot, it's a whole lot. Like content creation is not easy at all. It's a whole lot. Which brings me to my next point, which is you will not start making money or content creation quickly. So it happens for a few people that when they start that they know some people who help them push their channel and then they get monetized within a few days. That is not what happens with the majority. So you can't use the minority as a yardstick for what happens, you know, in, in the general view. So majorly, for, for majority of people, they start from scratch and then they build their channel, they build their platform, and then after a while, you know, they get views and they get monetized. So which means that you will not get, you will not start making money from content creation quickly so which means that if you start out content creation looking to make money from it you might get frustrated along the way because you're already spending money you know to push like your content push like um your uploads you know just to make content creation work for you and then you now realize that it will take a while for you to start making money you will get frustrated at your point so yeah those are a few things that no one told me about content creation content creation is not another thing that no one told me about being a content creator is that consistency would be hard because you will not always be motivated so if you want to stay consistent you will not look out for how you are feeling so if you will not feel like you will not always feel motivated and if you are working by oh is when i feel motivated that i'm going to post you might end up not posting anything so with staying consistent you will not work with your feelings you have to have it at the back of your mind that it is a work like it is work it is work so you have to know that whether you are motivated or not you have to get up and work so that is what no one told me about being a content creator so with all these points of mine, 
I have not sat. So with all these points of mind, this is not a video to discourage anybody who is starting out as a content creator. I'm not trying to discourage anybody. If you are looking out to start content cre creation, by all means, please start. The future is beautiful. I see the future in my art's eye and I, I see the future. The future is beautiful. The beginning might not you know, look like you are doing a lot, but the future is beautiful. So if you are looking out to start content creation, this video is not to discourage you. This video is just to tell you the things to expect you know and how you are going to like work around them so this is not to discourage you at all if anything this video is to like inform you ahead to warn you ahead that be prepared this is what you are going to see so yeah even with all these things i've said i'm still going to keep pushing because this is something i'm passionate about this is something that you know i really want this to work out for me so guys please support my journey and support my struggles by subscribing to my channel by liking my videos by sharing to your friends please help me to subscribe thank you so much guys as you do so so this brings us to the end of this video i hope that you've um, been enlightened in one or two ways and if you watch this video and you're a content creator I'm sure that you'll be able to relate to some of the things that I've said. So please tell me in the comments which of the things I've said that you can relate to. And let's continue the conversation in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched up to this point, I'm so grateful. Thank you for watching. And um, until I see you again in my next video, which will be a vlog. Um, stay blessed, stay happy, and keep creating amazing content. Bye, guys.